Alright, here we go. What's the next one? Alright, let's not miss these. Okay, here we go. What are we going to do? Well, 115. 115. 115. NAs? Hex and NA. What's an A? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Whatever A is, it's an A. Right? It's the N that matters, right? Yeah. That tells me something. The A tells me what it is. By the way, that'd be amps. But I don't care if you know what an amp is. In fact, you're not going to know what an amp is all year long. Yeah. It's what? Now, it's how much current goes through there. You're thinking amplification, which is a different thing. All right, so then I do this. Well, what do I want my answer in? Uh, DA. 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 Now, some people wigged out about this. They said, hey, DA. DA, that's DECA. It's not because there's nothing behind it. And second of all, it's not capitalized. Those two things together tell you it's not DECA. So it's got to be DECI. The other thing that tells you that is you know this is an A. So you have to have an A on your final unit, right? So it's just the D, the D is deci. All right, let's roll through this thing. So I did the problem right. Here we go. What can I turn NAs into? So one NA is, go to the front, find yourself Ns. It says here, one times 10 to the negative ninth. Now, if you know how to find your magic button, this is by far the easy way to write it. If you don't know how to find your magic button, feel free to type in a bunch of zeros. Use the magic button. Okay, times, now I'm in A's. What can I turn A's into? DA's. DA's, right? So DA. So I'd say one DA. Now I know it's deci. So what's deci tell me? Point one. Point one. I'm in, I'm in DA's now? Get out my calculator. One, one, five times 1 exponent negative 9 uh, times 1 divided by 1 divided by 0.1 and I get 1.1 I get 1.15 times 10 to the negative 6 dx. Now pause a moment significant digits but these are both conversions which means they're exact which means the only thing that's ever going to matter on one of these problems is what I start with, I got to end with it. Okay, I start with three, I end with three. You're looking confused. Why are you confused? Um, so there'd only be three significant Right, because this is only good to three. These can't change the significant digits because they're, they're exact conversions. Right. right? If they're on my chart, they don't change my significant digits. They're exactly right. Okay. Exactly right, exactly right. So when I start with three, I got to end with three. It's all multiplication division, so that's the rule. Yes, ma'am. A is amps, and you don't even have to know that. In fact, I expect you not to know so that. Because the D is deci, and it can't be deca, even though it looks like deca, for two reasons. One, it had to be a capital D. You're not looking at me. It had to be a capital D, and two, there should be something else here, right? It had to be deca meters or deca liters or deca amps, which would be real funny, be D A A, right? It, if this is an, I got an A on the end. This has an A on it, and those are just the like meters, liters, kilo, I'm sorry, grams, it's that sort of thing, right? So this D, this D is only a D by itself, which makes it deci. Is that okay? Yes. That's like kind of a trick question. You notice how it's on your quiz, not the test. Ah, although, you know, I put one on the test on accident one year. Yes, which means it's one to five chance you're going to see it really soon. Woo! All right, let's do it. Uh, how about nine? We need nine? You got nine? All right, let's do nine. Wait, no. What? I just have one more question. Oh, one more of this. Go. Um, if, the, if the problem, like, says DA, mm -hmm. I don't have to write it in this case. Right, you don't have to write it in this case. Would I write it anyways because I'm afraid of the chemistry teacher who's a yeah. jerk? Yes, I would. I would absolutely write it down. But you can write, you can leave it because it, it says D on the end. I didn't write it down on my key. I wrote it here for leaders. I did not write it here for that because it's already written down for you. So technically you don't have to do it in that case. Right? But you should always be thinking units. Always. Right, Farrell? 
Always. Don't let me take away points for silly stuff. Ah, it's my job as a coach to teach you to beat you into doing everything you're supposed to. Good? All right. Anybody need nine? Are we nine? All right. That man wants nine. I'll do nine for him. Okay. That was at eight. Let's do nine. Nine. Okay. Nine is two gigameters. Capital G. Not that it matters. I think there's only one G in the chart. Getting used to this pattern. What do I want to convert it into? Millimeters. Is it millimeters or yeah, millimeters? Could be megameters, which would be capital M, which is slightly different. Then I just go through the little process. One GM. Read the chart. Capital G. One times ten to the ninth. It's, it's, yes, it's capitalized, should be, that's capitalized, right? Which means giga. There's only one G, so you see textbooks all the time making a little G. Not really good form. It really shouldn't be that. We'll see it happen. Okay, now I'm in meters, correct? Okay, I got rid of gigameters. What can I do now? So where do I put the meters? On the bottom. I put meters on the bottom. I put millimeters on top. And one milli... Meter is how many meters? Oh, um, a thousand? Point oh one. No, point zero zero one. Point zero zero one. Thousand. Now, if you wanted to, you could. If this, if you have this in your head, you could say one thousand millimeters is one meter. It, it works. It'd be fine. But you have to have that on your own. I, I, if I set, if I do that on the chart, then things get messed up when you're trying to do all the work. Like, well, now it's you flip it the other way. That doesn't work out. All right. The one always goes with the weird unit. That's the way I set the chart. Okay, put it in your calculator. I get two times 10 to the 12th, which is probably how your calculator is going to write it. If it writes a whole bunch of zeros, just count the zeros carefully and just two, zero, 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 and call it a day. Okay. Power, all right. Moving forward. Okay, uh, we have the last two CWA dated fun filled festivals of fun. Number 10 and number 11. Anybody want 10? Now that we've done a few of these, kind of remind us of what we're supposed to do. Let me try 10. Pause this up. Let me try 10. Now plunk it in the calculator, do 10. I'm just going to go use literally 3.14. Magic button, different on everybody's calculator, seven times, oh, negative seven, sorry, neg I got to change plus minus, got to make that a negative sign, and then I've got to go 3.009990 times, oh, magic button, magic button, 19, get out my calculator, I go, Bang, bang. Everybody do this right now. Make sure you can do it. You should get 9.45. I don't actually what you get. I probably should actually do it. Because I already chopped for some minutes. 3.14 times 10 to the negative 7 times 3.00990 times 10 to the 19th. Bam. And I get 9.45. 1086 times 10 to the 12th. But I don't write them all down, do I? Mr. Ramirez, yeah. what do I write down instead? 9.45 times. 9.45. Why 9.45? Not more stuff. Because the lowest is going to be 3. It's multiplication. The first one's good to 3. The second one's good to 6. I only get to keep 3. Got it? Yes. All right. Loving it. All right, last, yes, ma'am. Would that still be 10 to the 12th, though? Yes. Okay. So you'd literally write 9.45 times 10 to the 12th. And you have a nice check when you use scientific notation. All of these are significant because I wrote them down. 9.45, I needed 3. I got 3. I'm happy. Okay. Looking around. Doing the sprinkler. We good? I don't know what Springer is, do you? Wait, I'm good. We 
don't have them up here, do we? Oh. All right, 11 Brit. Oh, you do know the sprinkler is. Aha! Yeah. Aha! Over here. All right, so number 11. Who wants number 11? Number 11 is hard. You want 11? You get 11 right? No. Okay, then ask for number 11. You need an A. I need a couple of you to get A's. Why? Because it makes me happy. If everybody gets A's, I get zero phone calls from parents. It's when we get the other grades that suddenly I get not happy no's from parents. So just get H, and then I don't have to worry about it. So you got this one, Bundy? Okay, here's what happens. You look at the problem, you go, oh, it's a minus sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the decimal point two places. Is that okay with you? And I get 0, 5, 6. The other ones at minus signs are moved the other way. 0.92. Now I'm not going to do the math like that. I'm still going to get out my calculator. And I'm still going to type in 9. Is that noise coming from inside the room or outside? Probably my computer doing something. No. Yes, it is my computer doing something. All right. And I get 9... 79.136, which indeed several of you got. But why did I bother to do this step right here, Miss Bundy? Scientific notation? I did get rid of scientific notation. That's true. That's what I did. But why did I get rid of scientific notation? You don't know? Because it's significant digits, when I'm subtracting, it isn't the number of significant digits. It's where they're located, where it passes the decimal point. So this is legit. This is legit. This is legit. This is legit. This is, nope, didn't work. This is legit. 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 This isn't. Right? And so since it's not legit, 6 plus I don't know what is not 6. It's whatever number you want to make up. So we can't leave that. So I'm going to chop that one off. So you line up the decimal point to figure out what you chop off. Okay? And if I chop that off, what do I end up with instead? Alright, got it. But then we're just minusing, so what if uh, it's in scientific notation? I don't need scientific notation. We can leave it like this. Or, if you want to write scientific notation, what would it be? 9.7914 times 10 to the second. But how would you calculate for, like, to the second power? Like, oh, what I did is I put in my calculator made the magic button. So I used magic buttons to get my answer. But then I also had to move the decimal point, because it's 9.80056 times 10 to the second. Sorry about that, 5 times the second, right? So how do I convert that into regular? Mm -hmm. I, mu I multiply the 10s in, right? There's two 10s. I multiply it by moving it two places. And that gives me 980.056, which is what I wrote there. A minus sign and move it the other way. So the answer is 9.7. Yeah, 9.79.14. Yes. Oh, what? Yes. Does that make sense? You good there? Yes, ma'am. Is this rule the same for addition? Like if you were to. Yes. Add addition and subtraction, the same rule. Okay. Multiplication and division is the other rule, which is count the number of digits and your answer has to be the same amount. Yeah. Okay? A. A. Gonna try to get an A in spite of your lack of quizziness. Okay, all right. I can live with that. Mm -hmm. 